Hello, my name is Brandon Manley. I'm a GU surgeon in uh, Tampa, Florida at Moffitt Cancer Center. Just wanted to stop by and talk to you real quick about hereditary renal cancer. This is something that we don't commonly talk about when we talk about kidney cancer. Um, part of it is because it tends to affect a very small amount of patients, estimates are around 5% of patients. But as we learn more and more about kidney cancer, uh, that number is surely to grow. For patients who have hereditary kidney cancer, sort of the most common type we talk about is VHL or von Hippel-Lindau. Uh, that's sort of the most well-described, uh, been around the longest, and does tend to have the highest patient population uh, that we see out of that, that cohort of patients. But there's several others, really don't have time to get into all of them, but some of them are like HLRCC, Bert Hogg de Bay, uh, and a few others. And, and for all of these, they have a similarity in meaning that patients her inherit, meaning your mom, your dad, one or both, uh, gave you some genes that predispose you to types of kidney cancer. Uh, for many of these patients, it means they're also at risk of developing other cancers. It tends to be uh, that for some of these syndrome, kidney cancer is one of the more prominent, but it's certainly not the only one. I think from a patient perspective, these are sometimes difficult ones uh, because they tend to affect uh, younger patients, patients who are somewhat otherwise healthy, are sort of blown away with the fact that you have to sort of sit there and tell them, like, we think you have an, an inherited uh, form of kidney cancer and the need for genetic testing will help us further define that. But even when we get that information, it's still hard on patients because again, they're sort of younger in the prime of their lives, so to speak, uh, younger families, uh, lots of work, lots of uh, other commitments and telling them that this is gonna be a lifelong journey uh, tends to, to come as a shock and I think appropriately so. Uh, the important thing I think for patients who are diagnosed or, or suspected of having hereditary kidney cancer is to get involved in any kind of community support groups. For many of these kind of afflictions, there is uh, excellent support groups. The VHL Alliance is, is a big one, but there's many other ones and they, they get very specific. Certainly the uh, Kidney Cancer Association or Kidney Can are excellent places to start. So certainly encourage you to do that. And obviously the other thing we have to talk about with hereditary is that it doesn't always just affect that patient, right? Like I mentioned, many of those patients have children or siblings who are certainly at risk of also having that hereditary. So it brings the whole family dynamic in. And so certainly having geneticists who are trained in, in having those conversations, not only with the patient, but also with uh, their family members is an important thing too. I think the, the silver lining is most of these ones that we know about, we have protocols set in place that, that really do an excellent job of minimizing the impact of these uh, hereditary diseases on patients' lives. Again, nothing is perfect and we're still striving to do better, but I think once you can get on board with that, uh, patients sort of take a deep sigh of relief and, and can get back to living their life, which is obviously the most important thing.